gentlemen, welcome to Connect 36 Presents The People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Travers. Michelle K. E. Heavy Judy QT. That shit was Zach Luster, but go ahead. <laughs> very, very much so, sir. Big sleep from Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> Let's start it off right. How was everybody's week this past week? Oh, me? Oh, I had a good weekend. Yeah? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Had a reunion. Then last week, my family came in for a whole week. So I was out of it for about a week and a half. Uh -oh. We had a good time though. I love to get along with my family. We had family come from Japan, St. Louis, California, Florida. So, had a nice crowd. Okay. Now, was that the reunion or was there another reunion? No, that was my family and then everybody, they left and then we had a reunion at the school this week. Reunion at the school? Yeah. What kind of school was that? Hellbrook. I graduated Hellbrook. from high school. Not Hellbrook. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a reunion for Bell. What was it like? Homecoming or something, right? Yeah, it was our homecoming. Okay. They did 60 year reunion. So they celebrated. It was really nice. They had a parade. They did, um, they went out skating and stuff. And we went out to the uh, restaurant. It was some little sky bar little thing. Now, y'all didn't do that with the kids, do you? No, they, no, they took their kids. <laughs> Yeah, playing with the kids? Nah, this was the after party. Oh, okay. This is the grown folks side. Yeah, I didn't make it to the game, so I didn't okay. work. So I came after. I came for the party afterwards. Okay. Did they win? You know what? I never even asked that question. <laughs> Please. Outstanding. She said outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. She literally said, I was there for the party. For the drinks. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Fuck, uh, uh, hey. Here we go. Oh, good job, buddy. We passed the meeting, though. Yo. We passed the meeting. You beat me by like half a second. Because I was literally about to say the same thing. I was like, S and you was like, Fuck them kids. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> he passed it to me. I know we passed the minute. We had to pass the minute. Uh, we have been early. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I think we yeah, passed we had it. That I think we passed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's was just simple. Nothing just work. Nothing major. Um, you know how people uh, give they like they two weeks in, and you always can tell they two weeks is coming in to an end because niggas is just that's what we had a, a week full of one person just mailing everything and just not dropping. <laughs> just not showing up. Motherfucker, this ain't show up for work on on Friday yesterday. So yeah, it was a uh, that kind of week. Why do people even keep them on for two weeks? You know they're gonna be ass for them two weeks. Cause you can't fire them once they put in their notice. Mm -hmm. But you can let them go ahead and take take the time at home. Yep. So in banking, they let you, you they let you if you go into another financial institution, they kind of get rid of you immediately. Mm -hmm. But right. she's not. She's going home personal business. She could have said that though. So so right. she says. Yeah. No, no. Because I, <laughs> so I I never tell them I'm going to a computer. Really? <laughs> no. you, can, you can say you can say whatever you want. <laughs> She young and she's literally into that hair shit. Like every day she has, every two days she changes her hair up. Mm. So she's in that lifestyle, you know. So you know, one way she's short, next day, two days later she long and curly. So she's legitimately into that because she, she on social media. That's only fans at home and shit. Yeah, you go changing her wig and hair and all that. Either way, hey, you can make you can make a lot of money on OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah, I tried. Ain't nobody subscribed to mine, man. I had my toes out for like two months already, dude. <laughs> That's feet finder. That's feet finder. Hey, he said he Hold had on, his toes out. out. See, y'all missed that. How Wait a minute. Hey, I know. I was just bullshitting. Hey, yeah, like, y'all missed that. This nigga said he had his toes out for two months. <laughs> but, but yo, but yo, I said I was joking. And, and CJ spoke up. Nah, man, that's feet finder. You gotta go to the right but website. He always know. <laughs> Wow. Cause I know chicks to do this shit to make money off That's of it. Crazy. We gonna have to get back to that because you <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's hiding I think we got a bodega story it's coming up because we gonna Yeah, really. I wanna hear more about this feet finder app, it's dog. All, <laughs> and why is I it didn't on even, your phone? What? I don't There's a no there's phone. a whole app for that? Yeah, I don't gotta finish for no feet. That shit's stupid to me. But you know that there's an app for that. 
Yeah, who the fuck oh, up? Well, it's obviously, on your phone? But yeah, it's a fee for that. Why do you know that? Why do you know you this kind of shit? You don't have it on your phone? No, absolutely let's not. Just, let's just lie. Hey, hey, yeah, he does. It. It say, hey, check. check his calculator. <laughs> I bet you, hey, you open up his calculator, all kinds of feet come up. <laughs> it's something else. You got a feet. <laughs> so you really said you don't have it on your phone? Yeah, I'm, nigga, you, you know me. Evan. He's lying. One body part. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that the, ain't the body part for me. Yeah. He's lying. You know that for a fact. <laughs> Whatever. He's lying. <laughs> I got a whole gallon of lotion at home from Sam's Club. <laughs> from feet? No. Not at all. He's lying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Do you ever Google any of those sites that you talk about? Only fans. <laughs> I don't have a thing for feet. I think the foot fetish is the dumbest fetish yeah. in history of mankind. By far. But and you know that there's an app dedicated right. to feet. <laughs> you had it right yes, on the top of the dome. I know people who do the shit as a hustle. I ain't never in my life heard of feet find a dot net. How, you, you, outside? How you find it? You outside? I'm outside. You outside? Uh, that's terminology. Mean I'm I'm in these streets. I, I know. I, I know what the terminology okay. is, but so I'm wondering why you friends. outside fucking with feet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know people who show their feet. Why are you out there? Because Ooh. motherfuckers, I know hey. have feet. Nigga, what do you want hey. I'm around for? I don't know. I'm not around no foot niggas. Can I ask a question? <laughs> I'm not around can footless I? motherfuckers. Sorry. That's a handicap. Right, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I ask a real question? You hear Go ahead, Sleep. Go ahead, Sleep. <laughs> My question is is, is, is your live running? Because I want to make sure that this shit don't get deleted this time. <laughs> It's oh, right. nasty foot ass nigga. It's running. It's running. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, my God. All right. I ain't asking no more. I'm leaving it alone, no. Treat it like the military in the 90s. Don't ask, don't tell. There you go. So, heavy duty cutie. Yes, sir. How's your time off been? Up and down. For mm. the most part, mostly down. And it, oh, I was about to say that sounds sexual. Yeah, pause. Nah, nah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. What? Trying Up to... and down. Wicked, wicked. Sounds good. Go ahead, what are you saying? No, that, that's all, man. It's just up and down. Just stay focused. We'll work. You know, that's the main thing that's keeping me sane as much as possible. Mm. That and uh, fantasy football. That's the taking. <sighs> hey, real, about that. <laughs> real, real <laughs> quick on the fantasy football. Yeah. On that, this is this is this isn't just like for you. This is just in general. Are, are y'all in leagues where like y'all pay money? Because yeah. I be hearing them the money leagues. Yeah. yeah. I'm in four leagues. And all of them pay. If you win, I know one of them paid because I'm, <laughs> I'm playing them today and getting my ass whooped. It's well, like FanDuel and shit like that. No, nah, that's not real fantasy. Yeah, real fantasy. No, right. I'm sorry. I don't have that kind of disposable income. <laughs> real fantasy. No, I'm sorry. I don't have that kind of disposable income. for it. <sighs> Anything else? Nah, probably. All right. Well, I got so far. nice segue, sleep. Because talking about. Uh, Disposable income. You know, oh, my, shit. <laughs> I've had an interesting uh, week and a half, two weeks. Uh, first off, I got uh, <coughs> both my daughters under the roof. My uh, daughter just got in from uh, from Italy and then over from Virginia. So, uh, shout outs, baby girl. She's in the house. Jada Bear's in the house. Uh, two's the only one missing. He's still out on the West Coast. So, um, I think I'm gonna have everybody here for the for the holidays, but we'll see how that works. Um, so been doing things with 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 the girls, which mm. as you guys everybody knows this, it, it it could be fun, it could be challenging, especially when you have things a particular way in the house mm. and then all of a sudden you go in the fridge and somebody that ate your green grapes. Oh Not the green well, grapes. That you that. that you put tape over the side so nobody eats, somebody just busts it open. The tape on the green grapes. They didn't think he was going to figure it out. They and everybody who needed. lives in the house knows don't touch the green grapes. Mm. But then you well, got that's that. The, <laughs> yes, that's the problem. You got people in the house that don't live in the house. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, they, need visitors now. they need a refresher on the rules. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> yeah, little stuff They're like that. Is yours? Oh shit, this is good in the mud. And then the excuse comes, "Why well, I wanted some?" Like, what the? <laughs> there's stores for that. Like, what? I don't understand what's happening. Nah, but outside of that, you know, <laughs> better get on that Foot Finder app and find you some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's get serious, guys. Let's get serious. <laughs> Put my foot so, in your ass. <laughs> work, How'd your week work, go sleep? <laughs> work, work, work. Production, production, production. Okay, carry on, sir. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get things going, though. You guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's get it. All right. Let's get to it. And we give it back to you, the people. So, today's topic, lady and gentlemen of the blue table, everybody involved, let me ask you guys this, should you be allowed to get upset if your significant other decides to get something that you are unable or unwilling to give and they go out and get it from somebody else? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. I know y'all waiting for a curveball, but nah, straight up. Yeah, no, nah, that got legs on his own. Um, <laughs> right. I'll jump in since I was the last one to be asked about my week. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my <bad. laughs> Jeez. Um, Anything in a relationship, in my opinion, anything is possible as long as the communication is there. So if there's a if there's a clear line in the sand about um, let's just say you or your significant other likes ribs and you don't make ribs and she goes outside to get ribs, as long as that conversation is had, you know, there shouldn't be a problem, in my opinion. So you as long as there's an understanding. <clears throat> okay. Let's get everybody else in there. We're going like to... I'm going to go ahead and go to the devil's like advocate. I kept it food. Oh, yeah. Oh, like you... But y'all oh, I wasn't going to go straight... I know, I know what you're going to I wasn't going to go straight to dick, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my job to dirty it up. You, know? um, you going to go? Oh, well, it's just like communication but if somebody it depends on where you're going and get it from though too mm -hmm. if somebody if it's a family member i wouldn't mind but if it's like the opposite sex or somebody yeah else, no no they're going outside of the relationship so um, not counting family just oh I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Oh, the outside I, I think that might be a little disrespectful right you know and i think that um yeah, that would have to be something you have to communicate. If that wasn't communicated, that would be disrespectful. So I wouldn't. But I wouldn't be mad, but I would definitely handle that situation. Like, you have to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> CJ's face, though. You wouldn't be mad. <laughs> yeah, because that is the question. Would you be upset if they went out and did it? I would be upset, but we would have to talk about it. You know, it would be something like, I'm not throwing tables or... I, I just want to know why. What was you okay. was the motive for you to go that far? And then we had discussed it. Now, if it was some other stuff behind it, then yeah, <clears throat> the discussion would be a little more heated. But yeah. I would be a little upset, but we have well, to, if it happened, if it happened behind your back, then obviously you have every right to be upset. But if it was again, if it was a, if it was a, if there was communication, like let's say, let's say that, and this is just this is just general for the room. Let's just say that there was a couple in a relationship, and um, unbeknownst to both, um, well, not unbeknownst, but each each person in a relationship wanted to have children, and for whatever reason they were trying, but they couldn't get pregnant. So they go to the doctor and they find out, you know, not to not to bash anybody, but they find out whose fault it is. Would it be OK? Or if there was a conversation, had, in my opinion, it would be, you know, if you can go another route in order to have a baby or to get, you know, pregnant. Would that be OK? I feel like, to me, it would be. I feel like that's for me, nigga. <laughs> Oh wait, what? For what? 
super sperm. Don't you got like 14 kids? That's a lot of kids, though. Somebody. After? One. Don't you got like 14 got kids one. after? One. <laughs> Hold up. Wait, what? Did we just bump into a bodega story? What? Wait, what? 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 You knew that story. I know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, I, only, I only know about I only know about the condom sucking daughter. That's it. I don't know about none of the rest whoa, of them. Whoa, wait, I said it like that. <laughs> wow. Jesus hey, Christ. I didn't, I didn't say what was in it. I just said the condom. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't say there was anything in it. I just said the condom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ladies right. and gentlemen, we're going to wrap up today's show. <laughs> this nigga here. The adjective, sir. Oh, my, my, Why, <laughs> dog? I mean, he didn't lie, but why you had to say it? Like, why you had to say it like that? I, I didn't say that there was anything in the condom. I just said she wanted to test the flavor of a condom. <laughs> Oh, see what when you share? Oh God! Put it out there. You shouldn't be shaming about. In this room, though. But that, but that, but that was the only child that I knew about. I didn't know you had 19 kids. I didn't have no 19 kids. You got five. Bruh, I got four. four. Bruh, come on. I got one kid after. Hey, and That's, come on. Wait, what? Hey, yeah. Real? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was a surprise for all he, of us. Yeah, yeah. Surprise. He dealing with Mother you Mary out this piece, boy. You must have do the aftercare after. Oh, I did. I did over still? the aftercare. So you got to get 30 off. I got 60, nigga. I came in. It was unleaded <laughs> unlet- <laughs> that clip. One might say you might have sperm in your saliva, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, hey, hey, yo. Oh, oh, God. Hey, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But when I had a more pleasant day. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, man. Back to the question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. And, 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 and I'm back? Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you answer yet? <laughs> no, nigga, because yeah. that shit went legs my <laughs> own. <laughs> That's Bro, I, had, I, had no, I had no idea. Oh, <sighs> well, there you go. So, That's another story do you me. think you should be able to get upset if your significant other <laughs> goes to get something that you can't provide from somebody else? I think everybody's natural response is going to be upset. Mm-hmm. Right? But, depending on what it is, <laughs> <laughs> niggas understand. Oh, here you go. <laughs> no, do we don't want to play a game. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it to you. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, remember, this is a whole new podcast. This is <laughs> right, you're supposed exactly. to be, you're supposed to be serious, right? We're well, right. serious this, this shit up. Before, you're right. Before you're right. You're right. You're right. Go ahead. <laughs> With nature being how it is, sometimes niggas gonna go fish somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Not make it doesn't make it okay, but you get like, oh, they gonna go for that shit somewhere else. Like people's been in that mindset. Well, shit, I ain't getting it over here. I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. And if I, it ain't a bad thing until I get caught. You know what I'm saying? Most for most people, so it's not like people ain't satisfying whatever that thing may be. You have a craving for it, you go get that craving. You got you got an itch, you gonna get. You know what I'm saying? You gonna scratch it. Right. Now, it doesn't necessarily make it right. You may understand it, but you're like, oh, word. You can't like you said communication. You couldn't have, like really talk about it. You couldn't figure out an alternative route to doing that shit. So you understand, but you definitely gonna be mad. <laughs> but you get the concept of hey, I, that's some shit I really want. It either I don't want it. Either it's two things. Either I really don't want to do it for you, mm-hmm. or I'm capable of doing it, and I'm just don't. You know, I'm not. I'm not going out my way to do, make that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? So, or something you just can't do. So, you know, it's either right. One. But the question is, are should you be allowed to be upset? Because if it's something that you or ref, you're refusing to do or you can't do, if I'm refusing to do it, then yeah. I mean. Doc, you you can't refuse to do it and then think you're not gonna be it's not gonna be satisfied somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? The refusals you have no legs on on being mad. If right. it's something that, you know You can't control you can't control, uh whatever it may be for that area, you you, you may wanna do it and not be able to get around to it, then okay, yeah. Hey, we we was talking about it, we ain't finished this conversation, how you just go on and act on it. Mm. So those type of things, yeah. But if you just like dead ass I ain't doing that shit. That shit ain't gonna go away by you tucking it under the rug. You right. <clears throat> All right, HDK, what you got? 
Yeah, I'm gonna be upset. That's for sure. Okay. You know, it's like your manhood in a way situation. You know, <clears throat> like you, you know, pariah in many ways. You know, mm-hmm. and feel like shit. You know, at the end of the day. But if it's something like important that you know that's gonna bring food to the house to feed the little ones, you like you gotta you know put your bride to the side. Like, ah, oh, shit. You know. What if it's <clears throat> something that you refuse to control or can't control? Like, um, say for you, Michelle, um, <clears throat> the guy you're with, you don't happen to have the the physical attributes that he likes. He loves you in every other way, but there's something about you physically that he's just like, I I need to feel that somewhere else. But everything else is yours. The is there any it. is there any level of communication that he could get back he to was, you? He wants a dick. What are we talking about? Because I mean, two people said as long as there's communication, hey. so I, I, I want to understand that. Ninety nine percent of you is great, but like, that pinky toe, right? <laughs> Cause it could be like not big booze, no. <coughs> you want yes. that. Anything like that. I mean, but then you shouldn't even communicate with me. You should. I shouldn't even somebody you approach. Yep. If, if you if it was gonna be like that, if I wasn't gonna meet your standards on the appearance wise, mm-hmm. you should just kept walking. So well, said, what if you meet him everywhere else though? Like he loves your personality. He loves how you are okay, with the well, kids. Okay, you better accept me for what I am. I'm well, not I mean, change. right, but he's he is accepting you. He but just no, needed to accept another part to, somewhere else. Oh, you accept no? to a certain extent, you're right? Not, you know, so I'm not fifty fifty. You're not gonna be fifty fifty. So more like ninety ten. Mm, no. Because <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Because that's well, ninety ten. That's a good number though. It is, but it's still wasting my time. If you're not gonna, if you're gonna nitpicking something like that, then mm-hmm. just go get that over there. I'll be okay with that, but don't, don't, don't play with me like that. But can he come home? No. After the fact? Yeah. No, because I still won't be able to satisfy him just because he went over there and did that. He really gonna want it now. So what I'm gonna say, you gonna keep going, you might as well stay. He's gonna fantasize it. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm not so I'm just don't waste my time. You agree with that, CJ? <laughs> I've seen the eyes. You never you never had somebody that you fuck with. You liked them with everything else, and they had that one thing you kinda overlooked. I mean you're gonna look look it, but I didn't go looking for it for somewhere else. I say it was and um Good being a bit for you emotionally. He didn't he didn't he didn't come for you in those moments of you being emotional and you had somebody else male that can talk to you in that way to, that can can console you in an emotional way that the other person can. Mm-hmm. That's slippery. Cause then you I mean oh, yeah. I have a best friend that was a male. That's a male. Uh- he passed Uh-oh. away, so that's why I said it wasn't me. Right. Um, but we were, we were <laughs> sleep was we looking. Were like, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally best friends for years, and I could talk to him about everything. Mm-hmm. There right. was no, no, you know, Can no you? boundaries crossed, right. or nothing like that. Yeah. So, is he a hairdresser? No, he worked uh, in the warehouse. <laughs> Didn't you just hey, it's a valid question. I'm asking. No, I'm just asking. Is he employed? He was a real That's man. it. Like, he's gonna ask if he, he got you. Uh, man, a man, I got right there in a minute. Nah, he was a man, man. I just know. got okay. chastised because I wasn't being serious. And these <laughs> what? I just asked if the I just asked if the gentleman was employed. Yeah, that was, was it. He was man. But okay. no, I'm I'm for real. I just. I don't forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> so, what you saying? About, about, no, I'm listening. I'm trying to be yeah. serious right now. I'm trying to get my. I'm always got some shit I'm saying. I'm getting it serious right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. About getting your emotional needs satisfied by somebody. That's how you got to this point. Right. So, yeah. I'm, but if, I'm not going to go to another man and get that comfort. But you already were. Technically. I mean, if you're with somebody, you had this male best friend. Right. But. And you would go in and and converse with this male best friend. True. That that but wasn't a hairdresser. The, ca- the caveat was, was she knew him before. It was not somebody what you're I were fooled with though. It's a big difference. If I didn't, not you to know, us though. Was it more like a big brother? You think? You? Yeah, because Tom. I knew him. I was like in my twenties. He was thirty. Me? So we, me I didn't date older men like that. So we oh, he was with how old? How much older was he? It was like 10, 10 years. 10, you like think if you called him one night? You drunk, he drunk, out of the blue and said, y'all want to sit in your dick. He says no because we're friends? 
No, I don't know because he, that never happened. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's lying. He, 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 he does. Hey, now, he does. If he's a hairdresser. There's been a part where we done been over that and we done laid in the bed together. Whatever. But I promise what? you. What? Wait, 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 w
Mm. Oh, you be cooking I for the granddaddy <laughs> sugar daddy. <laughs> ah! so we yeah. get it now, okay? No. no. <laughs> just, um, no, that's just how they come sometimes. But no, I'd rather date somebody this around my age, though, for Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how y'all made this about me. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> they was oh, no way. Everybody's going to get the, the bullet today. I'm just saying, my mind started, because I started thinking, what's the biggest thing that women got to go get? Emotional connection is a lot of the times that thing yeah. that y'all go. Sexually is very, literally, it's the backbone for us right. and the front. Y'all don't get to that physical part until that emotional connect is, is full steam. So that's right. what I'm saying. If you ain't getting over here. But I have friends, female friends, too. I, do. Mm-hmm. I have good friends that once I get to that point, I can talk to them and they understand. So I don't I'll necessarily have to go to a male unless I need that input from a, a real. That's what I was going to ask you. Have you ever talked to your friend about the exes? What situations going on? Because you didn't just open the door. You kicked the damn door open if you did that. I have. But let me ask you this. Yeah, With my over, over here, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this shovel is so good. CJ. This shovel is CJ Esquire. No, like, no, but I have, um, you know, just get opinions. You know, I, mm-hmm. I like male perspectives because you're different, you know, mm-hmm. and remember a little more. Emotional. Caddy and, yeah, they so, are emotional. So, they get very emotional and sensitive. So when he gave you an opinion, did he say, I hear that? There we go. But if that was me, I would have. Oh, you know he hit her once or twice with that. He had to. Girl, you shouldn't have yeah, to be going through that. Face. Yeah. <laughs> you see it? You see? I know. <laughs> that, right there. That, that, that's right there. Point taken. Damn, he did hey. that. If that was me, I would have. That's a, there's a phrase for that. that it's called dirt, it, it's called dirty macking. You know, that, that's just, that. But he or so but I don't know where I'm going with that, right? So see, I, you're thinking he's a scumbag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Well, one piece. thing I won't do is bash him. Now, if I'm no, I'm not. We're not right, bashing. Right, no, right, we're not right, bashing right, at all. I'm not. No, I'm no disrespect just, to, to homie at all. I'm I'm just laying out as a guy the framework of what that looks like. That's all. Uh, I, wa- I walked into that one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the blue table. <laughs> Michelle K's in the building. <laughs> uh-uh. All right. So, heavy duty, what you saying? I already said. You saying you would get upset? I would. All I would, right. But depending on the situation, like mm-hmm. you said, if it's like just be the family <coughs> kind of thing, put your pride to the side and just eat it until you can get your shit back to it. Okay. Hypothetical. Here we go. For the fellas, okay. since we already have Michelle K okay, on the hot seat. Thank you. And she's like, oh, thank God. Say you are slaying it. You are murdering okay. the coots. Okay. In your head. Uh-oh. But she's like, it ain't there. <clears throat> Is she allowed to go get fulfilled somewhere else? Not before we talk about it. Not at all. How, how do you talk about that? Not at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Conversation. You know, I'm like, yo, how, you know, how do you like it? You know, is it good? Are you happy? You want me to change something? You want to bring some toy? You know what I mean? You got to have that communication with, with your partner. Well, what if she lied at the beginning and said, oh, man, you killing it. Oh, that's when you And then like a year or two later. You lie. You lie. Yeah. Well, what if she said, well, you know what? You just don't do it like you used to. <laughs> it could be lying, right? And it, it was never there to begin with. But she's like, it's just not... And I love you. Yeah. You're a great father. Who you're a great provider. That, at that point, you you're great at everything else. Yes. I just I just need that back wall hit. Like you're okay on the sides, but I need that back. I, it's why just why it's just a little That's bit size. Call they call call bumper rails. I call and, and order that. Maybe you like a cheese wheel, dog. <laughs> Damn. In fact, it's short, though. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> That's when I call my man Cliff. Like, yo, where you get that strap on? Whoa, pause. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Remember? Remember? Whoa, hey. Yeah. Man, it's story. Shots. That's one of the No need to finish that, sir. Right. We don't want to hear that story. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Woo. I'll allow it. <laughs> I bet you would. I don't remember that motherfucking story. All right. I wasn't here for it. So. Uh, I'm telling you. But you're here now. Let's get it, fellas. What are we talking about? I don't know. Really. <laughs> Where did this come from? Hey, when did when did Heavy Duty call you for support <laughs> on knocking the back wall out? <laughs> 
Not now. Hey, hey, like, hey what the fuck play, about? play the music, sir. Go <laughs> take a story. Go. <laughs> I sent it to his AOL email. Oh, man. All right, so. Uh, But you do think there can be a a communication that can be had? Yes, absolutely. What type of communication can be had for her to say that you would be fine with it? Or is there any? Like if she sat you down and just, okay, (laughs) here's the situation. It's, I haven't done it yet, but... It, it's the same way if, like, let's just say my partner has to whack his head, right? And I miss getting some good sloppy toppy, right? Wait, what'd you say? Hold up. What was the first part? I heard whack his and head. That's, that's why I heard whack I, his I'm, head. I'm trying to... <laughs> I, was, I was in my head. <laughs> Is it going in? I'm, I'm glad we all heard uh, the same thing. No, we heard oh, I, was saying, <laughs> I, was, I was saying, it, you know, if we flipped it, and I if I had a partner that was, that was giving me whack head, Right? Okay. okay. Oh, the wackiest. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're, 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 All right. we're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to whack his head. <laughs> okay. You, you hear gotcha. me? Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> we almost had to go incognito. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I'm asking her, I was like, look, this is just not working for me. I got a friend that take care of me, you know, just to do that. But I love you and all that. What do you think she's going to say? Hell no. What's she going to say, Michelle? No, because my <laughs> thing will be. Right. Why you have to go out? Why you just can't communicate? Find things to, you know, satisfy that person. I agree. Going out is always gonna cause. But it takes two, right? Yeah, it takes two. The other party gonna have to open up and say, okay, I'm gonna try something new, or I'm gonna take a class, or Mm -hmm. go YouTube, you know. <laughs> they got heads on, on YouTube. All his, all his right. apps. Yeah, exactly. That must be YouTube X. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a YouTube I ain't got. No, wait YouTube a minute. That? <laughs> Those niggas shut me down. That's, 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 that's the that YouTube week. premium that you got to pay for. <laughs> right. It must be. <laughs> no. All right. So, in this scenario right yeah. here. Yeah. And from what I understand that you're saying, Michelle, there is no conversation that you can have that would that you would say, Okay, I get it. Right? I I mean, to a certain extent, now we want to bring people in. Like I say, we have to, I'm willing to do things, but if you right. have to just go outside and do it, no. Like, I, I got a question can, for you when you're done. We can just work it out right. inside the house. Don't, I would want, I would do everything I can to avoid that situation. Right. Okay. That's just Open being, communication. Right. right. All right, I'm about to put you on the spot. You eat ass? Whoa. Oh, the gooch. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know what? This going to be edited. Hey, wait, 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 I'm not here. For There's this. a reason. The only reason. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll leave it where you don't have to answer. But if that's something you don't do, and he, that person is saying, "I need that in my life," okay, would you be willing to do that yeah, thing? I would be willing to do it. Hmm. Shout out. I'm about to take a See, I, I was trying to keep it. <laughs> hey, I was not going down that road with you, brother. You was going solo down that way. <laughs> that was my shot question. Okay. So you are one of the the rare and a few that would literally at least you try know, once. At least at try, least try to try to keep I him in the house. Try anything one time. And anything? Anything. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, mm. gosh. Uh-oh. We can't have these conversations. Yeah. <laughs> it's my Stevie J mode. Look at my man. <laughs> He's like, oh. But yeah. <laughs> now, let me ask you that wasn't question. me, that was the producers. All right, definitely. Let, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Michelle. Okay. Let's just say you married 40, 50 years, right? Mm-hmm. Damn. Nigga, what you, don't, you don't have no needs outside of that except sleep, nigga. Nah, bro. Like 40, For real. 40, so, 50 years married. <laughs> so. I'm like, nigga, go out there and get the young motherfucker in. I'll go to bed. <laughs> no shit. I got time for this shit. Uh, yeah, Fuck that. Go get, let me get, that nigga go get his ass. Capri Sun, nigga. Just don't bring shit home. <laughs> go ahead, though. Okay. Go for it. It's 10 second count. You always got to count. Remember. Let's just say you you and blackness over here. Why the married. fuck? <laughs> what? Boy, Boy. How does nigga come back? Hey, to hey, that, that, that nigga couldn't wait That's to get back so and start old. taking shots. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just, say, let's just say for twenty years, right? God forbid he got in an accident. 
You gotta take care of him. He's better at it. I gotta stop you. We had a whole we had a whole episode about this. Let him get his point. Yeah, he knows. But let him get his point. Let him get his point. So from the from the waist down, nothing. He can't do jack. You still got urges. You still a young woman, 50s, 60s ish. You see this Don Juan dude just chatting you up. You beautiful. And you just miss the not so much you and you know in love with this new guy, but you miss that physical touch. What'd you do? It's hard. It's hard, but you gotta be real. Pause. pause. I was about to say pause. <laughs> My nigga. My nigga. It's just hard because pause. just because they have a she, handicap. She can say it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, you right. You know. You're not gonna play DJ all day, no. every day. What 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 this, the this, fuck is this playing DJ? Be hard. This is. Oh. Yeah, masturbating. Oh, play with the man in the canoe. Yeah. Wow. I, <laughs> I guess if that person is willing for me to step out and they don't mind. So if Cliff said, I, you know, I know I can't do anything. I don't know why he loves to go to you, man. Stop putting on niggas, man. He's going to change because it's me. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just, All right. <laughs> Back to the so ring. What would you say? What would you do? She don't remember the question because I don't. Yeah, she you were saying, would, would I step out because he's apparently just, just, making right. like that? And you just, <clears throat> and it's nothing to do with love. You just want that physical touch by it doesn't matter who it is but this guy is real nice to you answer considering the age that i'm in at at this point in my life this is a 60 i probably wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't i would just stay where i am i wouldn't even i would just okay. do what i've been doing to satisfy myself but at that age i'm not finna be Mm-mm. Yeah, you gave her an easy out, man. Yeah, yeah no shit. The age, <laughs> was, <laughs> the age was the out. You should have stopped saying shit. Yeah, you sh- or you should have said back when she was in her rabbit age. Oh, uh, 19. 19 would have been optimal. <laughs> you, get, word, you get led by the by the midsection. You're like, ooh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker got a lot of his own. Right. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> you make a terrible lawyer, nigga. <laughs> I'm not asking the right 16. program questions. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, just I, interesting. Yeah, I can answer to something. I would, I would. You know, if if, if you if would I, let him go. No, if I had a missus and she was paralyzed and she said, you know, I want you to take care of your needs. What if she, she don't say it? Huh? What if she does not say it? Well, that's just regular cheating. Then. There's a difference. We're not talking about cheating. So cheating to you is just a matter of permission or no permission. More or less, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. As long as 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 long as she has the same rights. Yes. Oh yeah. Now, I, I believe yeah. in equal rights. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Everybody got to play the game by the same rules. Right. Right. Nobody's a hypocrite. No it. hypocrisy. You can't you can't move the goalposts. Yeah. I've been there. But see, that wasn't the question, lady and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. It was, are you allowed to get upset if that's what the person wants to do? Like, will you? If the person brings it up to you in communication, does that now trigger? Oh man, now that I know they want to do that. Mm-hmm. Do you lose trust in the person thinking that even though they said they want to do it and you were like, nah, I'm not with that. That's kind now, of every time they leave the house, are you thinking, that's, nah, that's, they're out well, here doing also, it. You're also My thinking about nature. yourself. You're like, man, where am I not doing right? Or, right. or good enough. But I will just really say, sure, I need to up my game up then. I will right. be trying to figure out. You niggas is grown. No. Yeah. Because I'll be like, bitch, where you go? <laughs> <laughs> you already told me what you want to do <laughs> and what you're looking for. You going to Kroger again? You going to wreck yourself. Yeah. 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 You're going to drive yourself crazy. I don't like have that type of energy anymore. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I really don't. That's toxic. I'm not going to be, you know. Yeah, but love, the whole construct of love is toxic. Mm-hmm. I mean, be. you can't get around that. I mean, we're not, we're meant to be around people, but committing to one person for life every day, the same person you argue with, the same person you love, you have kids with, is not something that just comes natural to us. That's why we got to have laws that say, hey, you marry, you supposed to be with this person. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, just, and dogs are going to be dogs and you know, trifling chicks are going to be trifling chicks. I mean, if you get married, that little bond around your finger means absolutely <coughs> nothing. For me personally, I don't think that there's any communication that could be had at that point. Because 
not from my side, because if somebody tells me, hey, you're not doing this and I need it somewhere else, for me, I don't know if there's anything I can do to satisfy that, because that, in my head, I'm thinking that that person already got it made up in their mind. Hey, I'm going to do this. I'm just letting you know At the end of the so day. that when I get caught, I can be like, I brought it up well, to you. Think like that. At the end of the day, you can't stop. Is that not natural? No. At, no. Not At the end of the day, no. can you really stop it? No, no. I, so, and, and I know. Why lose why? mind over it? Right. You can't stop it. Once people put their mind up to something, they're going to do it. Right, Whether right. You, you have what, they're going to do it. You can stop, right. you can stake yeah. out to how, you do all that, they're going to they're gonna do it. Right, and and I totally know that and I understand that. But my thing is, if I've invested time, energy, effort, emotion, and love into it, even though I might be substandard to that person, mm-hmm. I don't want to want them to do that. We get that's natural. Those right. are all human nature. But my thing is, once they bring it to you, it's already in their head, and they've been thinking it. If they have it already acting on it, mm-hmm. they're just getting to the point now that now you're less and less tolerated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if, like if for me, hypothetical, extreme hypothetical, everybody, yeah. hypothetical. If there was something that uh, my wife wasn't doing for me and I just missed it from my youth or it's something that I wanted, mm-hmm. I'm going to stomach that for a long time. I'm not going to say shit. I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna try to cope with it. I'm trying to cope with it. <laughs> Once it gets to the point where I can no longer cope with it, my mind has already clicked. Yep. Like there's, even if I communicated, my communication at that point would be more of a, a heads up. It's not a hey, w- can you do this? It's like yeah, it's about to go down. Right. <laughs> I just want you to know it's about to go down. I kept, I kept the cracking back as long as I could. Right at this point. There's nothing you could do to change my mind. Even if you you try to negotiate with me and and do the thing that I'm missing, mm-hmm. I'm still be like, yeah, but it's out there. <laughs> like my eyes are already turned out there, and I'm thinking the other person might be on that same type of shit because you want it. Because I'm on. So it. you're projecting your my yes. my perception is my reality. Okay, it, it's as simple as that. I get it. I mean, I can't say that. Well, I could trust this person if I know that. I don't think I would do that. Right. I, I, that's just my side I of the, think for, the coin. I think for a female, their fear would be that emotional attraction or attachment to that other person who's doing that for you. Absolutely. Versus, versus for us, it's just logical. It's just sex. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's just they, a physical like, thing. I don't want to go out with you. I don't want to, you know, know you more than this. It's just... Yeah, but I mean, we, we function on the same way. It's just not called emotion. It's called pride for us. Because I mean, you know, if if my girl talks says, you know what, love you, everything that you do, but like I said, you know, you're all right. I, I love how you are, but that back wall just needs to tighten up. Like every thought from that going forward is gonna be like, yo, this nigga is searching for bar details as we speak. Now you gonna be in it. You gonna be in it thinking about that shit. Fucked up. Right. Right. Like damn. I'm gonna have to, I'm I'm have to go get me some movie. pills. Right. I'm, my shit gonna be like, nah, nigga, you don't, you failed already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go get that extendo. Does that motivate you to do better? Psychologically, no. No, not for men. That's gonna mess me up. Psychologically, because even when this I'm shit trying to connect, yeah, these motherfuckers connect. Like I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna pull it apart like the Red Sea. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And the whole time, if she ain't screaming bloody murder, I'm gonna be say, thinking, I'm about to say, oh, up. she on some bullshit. If a nigga's going in, he think he's going ham, like he's right. Saying, and you just laying there like, well, then that's the wrong thing. You shouldn't just be laying there anyway. It's a connection thing, right? I'm saying this, you, you know, switch position. Now you in the position when you missionary. She just like looking it's up serious. at you. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead, I'm listening. You don't think we're going to be in our head? Our head? Like, if you, give it, if you give it a nigga head and he fall asleep on the head. You, you, Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's a trigger. Oh, shit. Oh, I trigger. Oh, she just got him. Let's trigger a story. Let's trigger a story. Here you go with the trigger. <laughs> with the trigger. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sounds like a story. Sounds like a story, <laughs> like a story to me. You got to tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, yo. Okay, this Here we is go, story. yo. All right. No, because I didn't, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. Right. Okay. So me and this person, they know me. We've been kicking for a while, and we're doing. Now I was 
under the influence. Yeah. It was late. Mm -hmm. So they knew this and stuff like that. But it was a thing that we were like, we had already food around the first time. So it was like one of the second round kind of like this. Mm -hmm. To me, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know? And I fell asleep during it. Like, so, and of course, not like him going down. But No, we were... Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, you on the oh. Come on, tell me, tell me. So let me get straight. You y'all was having sex and you fell asleep on him? Yeah. I, oh. but I didn't Did okay, you because snore I on was, him? Yeah. He said oh. he was like I was get get, I'm done. <laughs> Fuck it. No, hey, no, on. that was my that was my next question. My did he was, did he finish? I don't know because he was he finished. when I woke up. Oh yeah, he did. He was, he was upset. Uh -huh. And he was like, you know, and I'm like, he didn't what finish. happened? So he, was he didn't like, finish. If he was, if he was upset, like, he he didn't finish, yeah. Probably he didn't. I don't know. But to me, you already got the first one, so this was just a freebie. No. No. <laughs> okay. So it happened again. So, it happened again. Wait, wait what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, hold on. Let it go. Let Jackie Journey curse it go. Go. What? It was not. I'm telling you. I, if I get comfortable, yeah. I can fall asleep. Don't matter what's going on. But we already played around. Like, it's not like you didn't get it. Yeah. So when I fell asleep the second time, it was like, all right, this, you know, they was pretty upset. But my thing was, why be mad? Because you can still, I mean, just because I'm asleep, you can still yeah. kind of like, that shit. Uh, because even when I wake up, sorry, ma'am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But it's not like in the morning sex. Like you wake up and they already no, they don't. That's not. That's the fine line. There's a word for that. It's called rape. No, it rhymes with rape. Look, I'm the person. I'm the type of person that if women know, I like it anytime, and I might try to get in the morning while you sleep. But when I'm wait, what? I'm just saying, I, I get what she's saying. I'm getting you saying. You playing with each other, you rubbing on the yeah. And you, and, and you, hush. That, that I am. Um, what the fuck? How did we but, get here? But I get what you're saying. But it's a whole different story when you're actually engaged and you not out. You get it? No, I didn't. I you mean, gave the I, man I eye mean, contact. Like you gave I eye contact. I get what you're saying, though. Right. I, I, I get mean, what you're saying. Not, okay, I was. It was I don't agree, late. but I get it. I was drinking. Okay. You know, we was already like comfortable, and right. it was not like you know we was. Did you uh, orgasm already? I didn't. Even, yeah, we already fooled around. Like, did he so, know you orgasm? See, yes, that's right. that. That's so, that bullshit. He already knew, so it was not like. Hold on, was it like leg shaking and eyes rolled back in the back of the head? Or did you have to inform him? Oh, I'm coming. I'm, uh. No, I don't. They know. He know. No, no, no. You know from no, we, they just know. We need confirmation. And not by mouth. We need to see the body convulsing. They said, yeah, they know about her body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, Making sure. But it was like, that's why I say I didn't think about, you know, <coughs> I don't know. I just, I guess I, been, I, guess I messed up. He was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guess? <laughs> what, what you mean? No, what you... I would not be mad. If you, I would not be mad because it's like... If you ride him and he fell asleep, you wouldn't be hurt? No, because then once you wake up, we can finish. Like, I mean, it's not like I'm be like, oh, man, I can't believe but what I if, fell asleep. But what if you don't wake up to the next morning? You just but up if there. I know the situation and we was in that situation then. I mean, come on now. It's just sex. You can do it. You can get it in the morning, get it at night, you can get it anytime. Why make a big deal about but it? But like you said, if you would give a head and he just... <laughs> And what if it just, it just... Now, it's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Wait a minute. I was doing I work, nigga. Yeah, he was, he was pretty upset about that. And I just, yeah. you know, but I guess wow. it's so sad. How would you feel, though, if you give the man head and then it just gets soft because he just goes... I've had that happen before. Yeah. I've had it happen before. She didn't like it. It was not like I was like... <laughs> she just said it. She didn't like it. It was not like I was... But did you feel offended like, is it me? No, because I knew it wasn't me. He just... <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you know it wasn't you? Because he, just because he fell asleep, that didn't mean... Because when he woke up, we was back. It was back on the rock. So it wasn't me. He was tired. Like I said, I don't take offense to stuff like okay. that because I look at the time, the situation, and all of that because mm. I know I fall asleep with would, would you say most women will take offense? They probably would. They feel some type Sensitive of about it? Yeah. I mean, She's a unicorn. Yeah, unicorn. That, that, it's not even fair to ask her what most women to do because yeah. <laughs> she, she's one of the few. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, we got, we got, we got a new, there's, a, there's a new rule. New rule. 
Shell speaks for every woman on the planet. What <laughs> 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 well, she says uh, goes. The comments, the comments will go that, crazy. That, that is what so I bad. think. They go, no, they uh-huh. don't. Right. <laughs> Is it Cliff a notary? Can't you get that? <laughs> I am a notary. <laughs> yeah, don't, That's don't funny. Listen to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, you, you're a special woman. I give you that. I, I give you that. that. Wow. All right. So. Yeah. But was, did you get, did you get still, what you want out of this one, sir? Because. Uh, this. Yeah. I mean, I still got you know another question about it. <laughs> Fire away. You know, you know I got to dirty it up. What's man. the other question? It ain't dirty right. enough. <laughs> talking about licking ass, fall asleep on the head. Down, down, <laughs> down, down, hey. Pussy. All right, we got it if you would be upset. But can you, do you think you can justify a way if it's something that's, it's not necessarily something that they're 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 not doing, but it's something that they are doing? And Michelle, you already kind of went into this, but uh, for the fellas, if it's if you have a partner that does something that's an absolute pet peeve, like constantly, 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 and you just want a, a bit of reprieve from somebody else. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you think that you can ever go, and you can answer too, Michelle, I'm not uh, discluding you, but do you ever think that you can explain to your partner, look, this is what you're doing, it's bothering me, I'm just going to this person just for that. Give Could me you, Do you think? So I can get a visual. You meant it. Yeah. yeah. Find any reason to get in an argument, there you super go. combative. Yeah. About every little thing. And you and just want to get with somebody that's just like agreeable. You well, know what I'm saying? knows how to talk things to do. Right. Back in me, kid. It's right. Easy Something like about, that. Right? Yeah. That's always nice. Yeah. You know, do you think you can tell your partner that that's why one o'clock in the morning you on the phone in the bathroom? <laughs> or because <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Jesus like <laughs> that. It still gives that element of yo. Know, what is you doing for real? But you know that just happens to be when you're bothered about this situation or when that <laughs> particular person calls, y'all could be sitting on the couch, you get up and leave the room to go talk to him. I, I just don't see that. Yeah, <laughs> no? I don't see that. You, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, <laughs> they couldn't uh, explain that to you? No, they couldn't. Once you leave the room, because, yeah. Like I said, is no, that's... That's sneaky. Right. You, you, cause you could, if that's the case, just do it right there. If we're going to talk about it now, I already know, just sit there and do it. But you getting up what is it that you're doing that I can't see you doing? Wavy what says, Wavy says, I don't want to wake you, you're sleeping. I mean, okay. Or, so. or even worse, what if they say, well, I'm I'm doing that because I'm talking about you and I don't think you could take how I'm talking about you. Ooh. 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 Chin on the chest <laughs> on that one, Michelle, okay? She's like, nigga, what? <laughs> talking about me how, like... Like there's there's something that you do that absolutely irks the oh, person. No, you can't, and they sitting there talking about me. Right. For, no, so would you rather them go into a room and no, talk about I'd it? I rather you not. I know you wouldn't want to talk about like, it at all. Don't. That's disrespectful. Like don't do that. Now you get out. Just lie or something. Do something. <laughs> don't, don't go in the room. <laughs> right. and you you know, Answer the capadada. <laughs> and I'm knowing. No. Mm-hmm. No. I, what about you, sleep? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with, I'm with Shell on this one. There's, there's, it, you, you can try to have that conversation, but the, the emotion would be, it would be too high. It would be yeah. okay. Why, why do you feel like you can talk to this other person about me without before you come to me with the shit? Now, mm. if it's something that has been expressed like over and over again, so that the there's, there's opportunity for a retort, as in. I, I talked to this other person because I tried to talk to you about it and you won't listen. Then you know you just got to eat that. But if it's if it's if it's all if, if you feel like it's all new information, then yeah, y'all y'all got to go to blows. Mm. Well, <laughs> I was ready to fight somebody. <laughs> um, a, a, a verbal verbal sparring match. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Contention, so to speak. All right. What about you, uh, HDK? Do you think you can have the conversation with somebody where you're you're going to somebody else to talk about what your mate is doing 
because it, it bothers you to a point where you're losing it. Instead of like my spouse. Yeah, like you're literally going to the other person to talk about the thing that your spouse is doing. Now, and they go in another room. Yeah. But is this other person like someone I want to smash or it's just like What does it friend, matter? Like, like a female friend, like a best friend kind of thing. Either or. Because remember, it's going to be on the other side of the table. So right. how are you going to explain to the other person that it's not somebody that you would sleep with? You're not going to be able to explain that. You're not. It has to be the opposite sex. No matter Absolutely. What. Unless you no, play no. for the other team like no. that, no, I mean, I don't want to. No, you know, we're in a world that hey. where you can't you can't exclude everybody. You got to let them. Hey, <laughs> you're better. You're, you're better than that. You got to stay. You, you got to stop taking time off. You, you're, you're you're out of pocket today, sir. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in my training wheels, man. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do it uh, if she's home. I'll do it until you know. I wait until she leaves the house. Go to work or something. Like a real nigga. Oh, so you was. <laughs> <laughs> I wait till she's out of the room like a real nigga. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that bitch is going. So, like I said, yeah, girl. I hit the garage door. Go this bitch, yeah. 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 Yo, let me call you back. Let me call you back. <laughs> I'm like, yo, hit me up and watch up. <laughs> Don't call the regular number. Hold on, man, because now, hold on. now that makes it worse though, because now you sneaking around doing the shit, well, and now we're losing the whole element of the thing, because the question is, if you would get upset if your mate did that, but now you're saying as far for you guys, you'd be like, yeah, I sneak and do it, but you're still doing it. Again, for me, if it was if it was a conversation, and, and to me, a lot a lot falls back on that communication thing. But if if that if whether it was me or my mate or my mate or me vice versa, if 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 I came to them and was like, hey, this shit bothers me. This shit that you particularly do bothers me, right. and I'm I'm constantly saying that, or vice versa, she's saying, hey, this shit bothers me. I can't be offended if she goes to somebody else and be like, hey, this shit that he does bothers me. Or she can't be offended if I go somewhere and I say the same thing about her. Right. Even if Especially it's another if man. Huh? Even if it's another man. Even if. If I decided I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna work on a thing that absolutely bothers right. her, then she's she's within her rights to do what she gotta do to, right. to get that shit done. But again, there there's a there's the, the line of communication has to be clear. If if she's constantly telling me, hey, I don't like it when you shave your beard, you leave the hair in the sink. And I'm just like, fuck you. I'm going to leave the hair in the sink. And every time I shave, my shit is in the sink. I can't be mad if she sits back and complains about it to somebody else. Right. Yeah, but what if the complaining means I like going to his house because he don't have the hair in the sink? Bruh, so why I, does everything so got to go back to So I spend the night. <laughs> spend the night over here. I'm going to dirty this shit up every time. <laughs> Nigga, anybody gonna go to spend the night because he put hair in the sink? Hey, hey, right. If it bothers somebody that that much, nah. You're not gonna go again. Extend. I'm I, my relationship is a little different. You're I'm, I'm way I'm way more open minded, and I'm to the I'm to the point in my big age that I that if if my wife expressed a concern about something, yeah. then especially if she she keeps hammering at home hey this bothers me this bothers me this bothers me i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do to to make her feel more secure yeah but heavy duty just said it he the last thing he just said mm -hmm. was when that happens you've already disconnected yep you so already. I, at that point if you're already disconnected then what's gonna stop you from going and laying with the other person I think, you're already I checking think that, out of the situation. I don't, I, well, I don't, I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I think if you if you disconnect without giving the person an opportunity to change, then you just weak. Mm. Well, even if you're weak, you still disconnect. But yeah, I mean, like, so, yeah, you know, yeah not right. everybody you, cares right. about that pride thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, one hundred percent. I, I one hundred percent understand that. But again, if if your partner communicates to you that there's something that bothers them about, or th there's something you do that bothers them, and vice versa, and nobody's making a, making an effort to change, then why the fuck are y'all together to begin with? Because what if it's little to you but big to them? Right. It's all in your head. Then you got if you if you're in a relationship with a person, you got to take that into consideration. It may be little to me, right? But it may be huge to them. Mm -hmm. So, are you willing to change it, even though it's little to you? Even if you're not willing to change it, as long as you're willing to work on it and communicate the fact that you're willing to work on it, that that starts the ball rolling. Yeah, but what if you? But if you just not. put, if you just put, because if you just put your foot down and be like, "No, nah, I ain't doing that," 
then that's that's when you run into the wall. That's when you gotta. That's when you do gotta watch your back because they're gonna find somebody else that makes that connection. Well, what if it's something that you just you? It's a part of your DNA. It's something you don't change. Like if you, if they like to communicate to the point where it's an argument and they want the argument all the way out, and you're one of those type of people that's just like. I don't feel like hearing it, and I just don't do well in in arguments and contention. So you always step out midway in the argument. Then that's that's not good communication. Well, it's never going to be good communication because, like uh, Heavy Duty said, that person's just informed you that they've already checked out. Yeah, yeah, and that and then that's that's not on. If the if the person again, just like I said earlier, if the person checks out before you got an opportunity to fix the behavior, well, not even the behavior, whatever or work on whatever they have an issue with, then that's on that person being weak. That's because they don't want to beat it. That's on them. Well, it's the not same, on you. In the same. So, do you man, try to save your relationship? I would. Mel, if it was me and my wife, I would. Mel, but you're looking at it one one sided. What if you know if you flipped it, and you're the person asking the other person to stop doing whatever is bugging you about it. And you've been that, and they, and and they, asking, and they don't. And that's right. if, if, asking. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm con- again, if you're constantly communicated and they never try to make the change, right. then you got to do what you got to do in order to to fulfill that. So you don't you step out. You and you you don't. You're, you're if, if you're telling the person, if you're telling the person, hey, this is a deal breaker for me. If you keep doing it, and and I hate to do the ultimatum thing, but if you if you keep doing this particular thing, then I can't be with you. So, so just you don't that consider easy. That week, huh? You don't consider that portion week. No, because the the intention is clear. You don't sit back and go find somebody else to fill the void. That's weak. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yep. yep. Like Even that. if you consider it small. Yep. Yeah. Right. That's like I said. That, that's why I said the thing about the, the the beard hair in the sink. Because to 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 those of us who have facial hair, it's something that happens. It it just happens. But if it drives that person crazy, or if it drives your partner crazy, you doing it. And just walking away from the sink, that's on purpose. You doing it and then right. making an attempt to clean it up, that's an attempt to work at it. Right. But what if what they're feeling or seeing is you just giving them lip service? So you're saying, you know what? I, I understand that bothers you, but I'm going to work on it. Mm-hmm. But then the next day, there's more beer here in the sink. Yeah, then, you bring, then you bring it up again. Yeah, give them time too. Yeah, but how many you bring it? It's a creature of habit. Yeah, but yeah, like, nigga, how many times do you need to shave your beard in a week? Relax. Well, clean that shit first up. Of, right, but we're talking <laughs> about hypotheticals. I mean, we're not very much shaving so. our very beard much so. every day. Right. But you know, if that's the habit that you're used to, mm-hmm. at what point do you understand and realize? You know what? I'm not changing fast enough for this person. I'm trying, but it's not up to their level that I'm trying. Well, then, yeah, then, then so what do you do at that point? Do you continue I, to try, or do you tell them, you know what? I'm just not going to be good enough for you. Fuck it. It's over. Go, go no, do whatever you, you got. You, you continue to try, and in well, my then opinion, what do you do? <laughs> in my, in my, in my opinion, if you, if you're, if you're, if you're trying, let's just say like. I keep. I hate to keep going back to the beard thing. But let's just say you you completely like could used to when you when you trim your beard you completely covered it in hair, and you just walked away from it when it was done. If I come back the next day and it, there's a bunch of hair in the sink, but there was not as much as the last time. If I can see that you actually tried and like, hey, I appreciate you trying, but this is still an issue. Come on, man. That's but I see you. Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna do that? That person, Adults. For, no, yeah, but once you start dealing with emotions and somebody checking out while you're not checked out, it's, it's not going to matter if it's a bunch of hair. It could be and, and, one hair in the sink, and they'd be like, ah, right, you're still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, they're one, they're one, already 100%. checked out. They're trying to get the fuck up out of it. Then, then that's, then, and then that's, that's, their, that's their right. If they want to be about the relationship, then, then they can... They can go if they're mostly just like you, just like every duty cutie alluded to earlier. If you're mostly checked out, there's nothing that you can do or say that's going to be able to check them back in. Nope. They're gone. Uh-huh. Right. But then we're still dealing with your heart and your emotions in the thing. Exactly. I, but I you don't that. know. You don't 100 percent know that they're checked out. You're still trying because you don't know they're checked out. Right. But because you don't know, do you think that they'll come up to you and say, hey, you know what? I can't deal with this no more, so I'm just going to hang around in a relationship for now. But I'm telling you now, I'm I'm done. Again, do you uh, think uh, anybody uh, would anybody tell their partner that? Yeah, I, I, I I would I would if they if they're being real about if they, I mean if they if they're being if they're being real about their relationship, you would you would hope that that sort of real conversation can be had. In reality, will it happen? Probably not. 
the 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 lap the what, what will probably happen is the person who has the issue with the shit like i said they'll just go to they'll go fill that void somewhere else but that's the point are you trying to stop them from doing it like michelle said you know the person bought it up and now she's going to try to to accommodate whatever the issue is mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. do you right at the beginning when they tell you do like me it's like uh, you telling me this? Your ass already checked out. You already gonna do it, or do you well, think I, like the other fellas in the room is like, well, I hear you're you have this issue. I don't think you checked out yet, so I'll see if I can meet you somewhere. I'm on the ladder. Compromise. I'm on the ladder. I'm on the ladder of the two. Yeah. So my 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 mindset is to is to try to give the the my partner the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. You compromise hoping with the best intentions. Right. Yeah. First. Just don't give up just because you see that they're First. thinking like that. Just at least at least try. That's all you can do. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And how long do you try? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> how, how much hair is in the sink? <laughs> that depends on the individual. How long you been asking for the change? Mm-hmm. How long you guys been together? How long it's been bugging you? It could be, a, let's just say a week. It can be a month. It's totally depending how much limit that person has until they snap. <laughs> and that brings up a, another good question right off of that. <laughs> At what point do you take that question serious? Immediately. Like, like the, the first time? Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. You should. That, should, you be like, that should be like a light bulb go off in you your should. head. Boy, you guys live in a perfect yeah. world. Okay. No, I don't. All right. So, so let's go to the green grapes, right? Right. So, same scenario, let's just say... Yeah, the first time, the first first time, like, I buy the grapes, that is my thing. The green grapes is my thing, the crunch and everything, cold in the fridge. (laughs) The first time I go in the refrigerator and half of them are gone, I go to my maid and be like, hey, don't eat my grapes. This is a deal breaker. Don't eat my grapes. Okay. Should she take that as serious? Like he's gonna walk out the door if I eat his grapes again? Depending if you if you if you're sitting back telling you me that this is a deal breaker serious? for me, I, it's a respect. I, I, I if she knows your ass, your ass. It's, it's, it's a respect. If she knows you, if she, she knows. Hey, yeah, if she knows that great, if she knows that grapes is a deal breaker, then yeah, yes, she should yeah. take that shit seriously. Like, don't y'all tell. I put do not touch only for him. You know, I will. I will yeah. make sure. I right. know that's a deal breaker. But again, him. but that's that's the first time, right? That I'm asking. If this was the first offense. Right. And I tell you, hey, this is a deal breaker. Don't eat my grapes. And then a week, two weeks, a month later, that person's just like, I just want one or two. You can't be too mad because. You, you see? So, <laughs> and that's the question. So at what point do you take the person serious? Person, nigga, if you count grapes right, after like, two or three, <laughs> you are the problem. Well, let, let Remember, say, hey, nigga, look at. I put they, tape on the outside I know of the you do. <laughs> I, look, I was about to say. Uh, that's what I was about to say. Look at who you talking to. I know who I'm talking to. Hey, this nigga he put, he put the tape. A slice of cake and said his whole cake's for me. He, 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 put, he, 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 he puts a piece of tape, tape on the grape. Niggas waiting to eat cake. Hey, he puts a piece of tape on the grape bag that says there's 87 grapes in here. There's 87 grapes in this bag. If I know that there's 87 in here, you call me out for that shit. But yeah, I did. See this nigga cut a piece of pie and put the whole rest of the pie in the way and said, "This is yours. This shit's for me." And a room of Man, niggas waiting to eat pie. <laughs> like, yo, where's the dessert? Oh, fuck that shit. That whole table of dessert, that's mine. <laughs> you get that pound cake from Walmart. I'm going over there for the rest of you niggas. And the rest of you, the rest of you niggas eat green grapes. But <laughs> I will take my portion and, and, and store it in my office, though. <laughs> and close the door. The lion shit. That's why and I know that food and shit. And then I'm so real. dirty, I'll come back and eat some of what's. <laughs> right. The rest of the shit left for the common niggas. Oh yeah! Wow! Yeah, that's dead ass. That's all like that's I know. That's a different that's, for that nigga. That's 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 too much. <laughs> that is too much. Oh, it ain't too much when it's gone. <laughs> that's when it's a problem. No, but wow. again, this was just a hypothetical. <laughs> but it could be anything. It don't got to be yeah. something that you know. But the point is, if the person's telling you, then it bothers them. Do you take it the second that they tell you as? I need to do something to change because they let me know. Yes. Because it, it sounds that's like that's what everybody's saying. That's what it should be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It should be. That's what it should be. But yeah, should at be. the same time, all four of you guys told me, but if it's your habit, you need time to change. Because you right. do. It's not going to happen overnight. 
It's not going to, you have to give that person time to accept the change. You got to let them build into the change. It's not going to happen overnight. So, what's that again? Is what, there what, a time period we looking at? Like how no. long can you deal with this shit? And no, as as long as long as they show that they're taking what you said seriously and they're they're making it, they're showing a noticeable effort to make the change. Yeah. You won't then, be so hard on it after a while. Right. It won't be so bad. the effort. Yeah. The effort the, the effort means a lot to me. And it'd be like, yeah. oh, it's just a few hairs. Oh, okay, you just because you say at least they trying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. Time to dirty it up again. So what if we talking about uh what if we talk about oral? Okay. And you're like, huh. for the fellas, hey, <laughs> no more the teeth. I can't no, the teeth, you you scraping me up. I, this is a deal breaker. I, I can't be walking around at work with a fucking fan and talking about oh shit. <laughs> this motherfucking stab up yet? Like what the fuck? Right? And 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 for you, if, if a dude just has this this urge, he's like, "Yo, I got to gnaw on the man on the man in the canoe. I just got I, 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 like like a gummy. He, he got a bird like a gummy. He got the man in the canoe got to be on my back teeth. I, I gotta. I, I love how it bounces, and like the pain is shooting to your brain. You tell him that, and then, <laughs> and so. You're going through that, and you tell the person it's a deal breaker. And then the next time, it's a little less teeth, or it's a little less gnawing. Are you going to really sit there and be like, ah, well, they're trying. Nah. See, that's, that's, that's different, yo. Oh, that's, that's, that's extreme. That's, that, that's extreme. And I, 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 know, I know what you're doing. That's extreme. That's yeah, extreme. I'm, I'm getting you guys a contradiction. You only got, you only got one, you got one time no, that's okay. sucking my ball too rough, and this relationship is over. Now you mess with I'm blood sorry. vessels I'm sorry, I'm not into that. Nerves. Uh, yeah. You fucking with blood vessels and nerves, man. Nah. No, no, no. I would tell, if somebody don't know how to do it, I would ask first. I just don't even want you to do it at all. Just don't, just don't do it. So he do it bad one time, that's it? Don't ever do it anymore? I won't even, no, if you tell me that's not what you, you like, like to do or if it's <laughs> nothing that you are good at or something like that. No, what, what if they think they're good at it? Maybe they had a, a S and M chick before you, and she was like, "Bite that they motherfucker!" Just punch it. I'm like, "No, um, I'm good. We don't have to do that." And then the next time, you won't even. I won't even. You won't even go down there. I won't do that. All right. So would the 20, 23 year old Michelle K be willing to no. stay with the person? <laughs> 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 Let me get that shit up right now. Uh, I, 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 like I like it. I like it. I like the truth. <laughs> No, I'm like, if I'm he that, got uh, to go. I promise you, no. If that ain't, my mind was not this much. So, right, right. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's all these other people. I'm good. I just. I'm but out. what if, but but what if the gentleman <laughs> was Jamaican and that's not what they do and he decided he was going to practice on you? For your love. Now, you know, I, I dated a guy that Uh-oh. never we go. did it. That he, I dated him <laughs> over 15 Hang on, years. hang on, hang on. Sh- sh- sure. You're kind of new here. I got to do this thing. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletor. But, <laughs> we haven't did that in a while. Um, years ago, we hooked back up a long time. But it was something that he never did. He was he Jamaican? It. No, he was just a regular guy. Just wow. a regular guy. Um, and he's never done it. And Ever? He, no, he was just like, because he didn't know how to okay. do it. It was something that, just like me, when he asked me years ago, I told him, if you don't do it, don't even worry about it. So yeah. we just never done it. But Were you getting it from somewhere else? Probably at that time, I probably was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So you were getting satisfied. <laughs> it didn't matter, but you now can... that, okay. you know, now that, you know, we're a little older and they wanted to try it. And mm-hmm. it was like, Okay, you know, let's let's see. And they not into porn, so they didn't really want to watch what? porn like huh? that. Yeah, they a Christian. Kind of okay. Oh my goodness. So the same oh, yeah. that, was, like that. that was that was that was my second question. My first question was, you know, was, 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 was it was like, hair Watch it so you can kind of get some. Yeah, right. They wasn't really into. So where it. was he getting his tutorial from? From me. 
They wanted me uh-huh. to. Oh, so you out there being a player coach? No. <laughs> she got run to four. Run to four. Run to four. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nigga, not two. No, right, two. No, right. two. It was something that he was willing to try. And okay. it was like, if you show me and teach me, then, you know. Okay. I can do this shit with other people. I'm building my skill set. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, but something like that, I didn't mind working with not the younger me. I wouldn't have done that. The, this, yeah. How many coaching lessons did you give him? He actually caught on pretty quick. He caught on pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sound like it's somebody it's used game on that one. Right. Hey. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if they do it. Right, right. No, right. Right. No, hey, like, yo, you know what? Make a hate Those are the ones that get the best ones. I don't normally be doing it. Right. No. Hey, that, le- that, that, that leads me back, back to my first if question. I, if I didn't know them years ago, you couldn't use that line because I knew him and I knew that was something he never did those years ago and he so didn't never the do it then. Right. So okay. then when he came into it new, he still wasn't doing it. So it was like, you know, well, wow. you know, that's odd. teach me. And that's what I did. So now he's he out there. You looking at it like what? a proud, like a proud coach. That's my uh-huh. nigga. No. My <laughs> nigga. You say nigga the street give me head now like yeah, my nigga. Did you tell him? <laughs> did you tell him to give you shout outs every time he he put a head on spin? No, hold on, hold on. Because that's what we do. No, he like, hey, <laughs> yo, so, shout out to my boys, Lee. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> so Michelle, let me ask you a question. You walk in the streets, right? You're shopping. You see that dude with some shorty. Uh-huh. He introduced you. This is my girl. Da, da, da. Do you, you know, say you're welcome? Do you him? get messy? You, you, no, no, no. Do you no. say, you girl? She she good? No, I yeah, know. I know. You wouldn't say you're welcome, she coach. Says, no. <laughs> right, right. Well, like, say, he'll tell you. Well, why would, she right, says in her right, head, no. right. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on. No, if he was with, you wouldn't say it. You don't salute. She's not gonna say, it, but she'll say you it in her head. It? You would the, think it. Come on. Okay, so if I meet. If I see them out, yeah, uh-huh. shopping around at the mall, and you're in the same mall area, and he stopped by, like, hey, Michelle, what's good? Let me introduce you to so and so. I don't, I don't think I would think of that. You wouldn't say you're welcome to her. Nigga, would you? Hell yeah. <laughs> what? You know what? She wouldn't know what the reference would mean. What the fuck is that? What is this problem? Oh, he's lying. Uh, yes. Come on, man. Come on. Thank you. Come on. I want to see a perfect opportunity. That. No. 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 That's a perfect opportunity for you to get punched in your head, sure dog. Would. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Heavy duty cutie. Since, 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 since we're so inquisitive, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Come so, on, man. So what if you was out at you what if you was out at the mall with your shorty oh. and a six foot four oh. brother walks up and he's like, Hey, shorty, haven't seen you hey. in a while. Hey. And he looks you in your eye. He looks at you in your eye. He was like, yeah, she does that thing, doesn't she? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Did he, did he, did he hey. stick his fist out to fist bump you and was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> so and, and I'm telling you, we went in fist bump. We go like this. You got some... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that thing she do? You like that? You're, wel- you're, you're welcome. That we called it the tornado tongue. You know when yeah. she wrap it around and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? Yeah. I told her that. It was oh, a lot, yeah. lot of but, practice, dog. A lot of practice. Hey, but what if she didn't use that move? Hey, on girl, you? what's your Instagram? Oh, that's even better. <laughs> but what, what, she, what, what if she didn't use that move on you yet? <laughs> For us, she <laughs> you, what if she didn't use that like tornado. She don't use. <laughs> and she be like, she you look she over like, and she, she like. like <laughs> 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 hey, what if he's wearing gray sweatpants? <laughs> Woo! It sounds like some done. Jada Pickett Smith stuff going on. <laughs> oh, I don't do that with you. Uh oh. Oh, now you know you have to. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to talk about? I don't know. I just hear about what's going on with her. <laughs> you, you ain't going to like the thank you after that, brother. But you would do that. You would turn around and, boy, you going to get your ass fucked up. <laughs> Somebody gonna whoop your ass. I don't want that. Kind I'm of out thing. here with the woman I love, and you be like, "Hey, because you're welcome." Hey. Because what if that person that he's with is doing better than you, and they showing 
him yeah. stuff, and you like congratulations. He like shit, but you was doing one nothing compared to what she mm-hmm. doing now. So how strong? How strong you think your relationship right. is yeah, now? Oh, like, yeah. hey man, you gonna look real? You was I, right, but yeah. she enhanced me. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no dude I'm gonna, not gonna see him there. again. Exactly. You and your face. pride. You, hey, yeah, you got his you right. face. He's like, you, I told her that too, nigga. I ain't going to let hey. that shit lay. I'm like, <laughs> she is straight. Hey, you right. You, 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 won't, you, you won't see him again. Right. She will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she not with me no more. No matter. In that scenario. Oh, no. She's still with you. <laughs> She's still with you. You he still concerned about the hair the sick. Yeah, you saying if you were the guy in that situation. Nah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, y'all stumbled onto something here. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh man. Woman. I bet. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Six one nigga made a nigga. <laughs> 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 that thank you don't hit the same no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that hot hey. seat is not cold, though. <laughs> That's a hot hey. seat. Thank you hit the same no more. You in the car, she was like, hey, uh, hey, babe, can we talk? <laughs> um, oh, that, you what's, you, what's you do very that? well at hitting the sides, but that bottom? <laughs> <laughs> that bottom. And this is right after old boy walked up on you like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all in the parking lot <laughs> of the mall, she bring it up. <laughs> and, then, and then she had to talk a nigga walk by the car again. She honk at the nigga. No. Hey, no. He don't. He don't hey. Hey. He don't. Hey. He don't, he don't walk past the car. You done fucked around by accident, parked right in front of him, and he back in. So he looking at y'all the whole time. <laughs> And then once you leave, y'all conversation start with, you know I love you, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, the thing, she, yeah. she be like, the things you do, you do very well. But I'm just saying, if we can just add, you know, him. <laughs> Not even beat around the bush. Huh? If we can just let, add, well, it, it's him. okay. Just, 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 just let him show you what to do. Oh, wow. Oh, now you took the person. Woo. <laughs> Where's the gun? <laughs> Somebody got to check out. Somebody got to check out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bring, bring him over. <laughs> how, how did Big Daddy say it on Jago? Not around my niggas. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, great topic, y'all. Great topic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Big fun. Uh, anybody else got any questions? Nope. Nah. All right. You look the fuck out that one. <laughs> that was a good Bruh. one. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. That was All right. Performance. So, we're going to get ready to get up out of here. Okay. And, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't say it enough before, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> get that bell on so you know when the new episodes come out. And, um, you know, definitely leave the comments. What's you know, because we get to all the comments. And the, the new show, the new format is The People's Cast. So look for that. Um, and, you know, we're going to bring out some more stuff and, and have a whole lot more things going on. But uh, if there's no further questions or anything going on from anybody, I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Charles. Michelle K. L. Heavy Duty Cutie. <laughs> Sleepy Gigante from Pacific Standard Time. I'm sleeping giant now. Okay. Yes, sir. (laughs) (laughs) And we're going to catch y'all on the next one. (laughs) Peace. Peace.